Now let's get back to the theory of vertical universes. Okay, we already discussed the fact that the theory of parallel universes where they have the idea of the bubbles, of course, uh, exist possibly in parallel to our universe. Now, if you remember, if anybody listened to my other video tapes, you know that I already have a theory of everything which is based on infinite gravity sphere. The universe that we act, our true universe really is a, in, an infinite sphere. The universe is actually an infinite sphere which has infinite spheres within it. That's why you see so many different uh, uh, circular forms like stars, galaxies, spiraling, and now that we've covered, uh, now that we've covered uh, the idea of, of parallel universes, uh, now that my theory of vertical universes is supported by the fact that if you have parallel, the opposite is, ver is vertical, and besides that, if you remember, like I said before, is the fact that my theory of everything is the infinite sphere of gravity. In other words, our true universe is an infinite sphere that everything is contained by. You know, all of the stars, galaxies, and even the bubbles. You know, you talk about the parallel universe is just extending in a, in a, a maybe a bubble next to the next bubble of, of our expanding universe. But the bottom line is, the universe is an infinite sphere, so you have vertical universes above, bubbles that goes above the bubble that we are in right now. There are vertical bubbles above this bubble, and they extend in parallel and vertically throughout infinity. So the complete universe is infinite. So there's no end to the infinite universe that we exist in. What And what supports my theory of vertical universes is my theory of everything, which is the infinite sphere universe that we exist in. Remember, you can look out in the outer space from anywhere on this planet and you will see a sphere of infinite direction past stars, galaxies. Okay. Yes, and once scientists understand my theory of everything which is based on the fact that our true universe is an infinite sphere which has infinite gravity then you understand why there's not only parallel universes in theory but there are vertical universes because the like I said earlier the bubbles that expand in parallel also expand vertically in this infinite sphere universe that we exist in so our actual true universe is infinite so it is a singularity where you're looking for the singularity of all possibilities and all creative forces since we are inside of an infinite sphere it is the singularity it is the one without a second there's no second number that comes to infinity that's why infinity is the best description of this infinite force gravity that creates everything in our space time all possibilities time travel and many many things that you can can even imagine 